What's up guys, Dr. Ricky from the Bulls Garden. And today, I'm going to be picking the vegetables for my dad, the bull, because he hurt his back. And I don't want him to hurt his back even more by trying to bend over and get the vegetables. So I'm going to be doing, doing it. Over down here, we're going to start picking my patty pan squash first. start with this one right here if you want to get a good look of it. I'm going to snip it off. I'm going to show you guys it. There you go. One amazing patty pan squash grown in the bull's garden. Add it to the basket. Snip. This one is way bigger. So these patty pan squash are gonna go into the steamer. We're gonna have some nice patty pan squash. And I like how they grew, but I don't think we're gonna be able to fit all the vegetables inside this tiny basket, but I'll have to make it work. The second one that I'm going to be picking is down here are some of my eggplants. As you can see, right here, my eggplants are growing so amazing. There's a bunch of small ones growing, and then there's these two big ones, and I'm going to be picking those two big ones. First, I'm going to be picking this one. Look how large it is. Right. Look how gigantic this eggplant is. One amazingly just an amazing eggplant. Can wait I make some egg fritters out of this. We have the two big ones, there's one here, but this one still, I'm going to give it a couple more days to grow. But a different type of eggplant I'm going to be picking is down there, those black beauties. Now before we get to the black beauties, just to mention, these right here are my lemon boys. I'll show you an example down here. Ah, let's go up. Well, they turn yellow, they're tomatoes. They start out green right now, they're green still, because they're young. But when they get bigger and they grow up, you see it's loaded with lemon boy tomatoes. But here we have my black beauties. And I'm gonna be picking both of these black beauties today. So, this awesome black beauty right here gonna hit this little basket. Actually, thinking about it, I'm gonna give this one a few more days to grow. It's still a little small. Same for the other one in the back. I'm going to pick the one down here. This one's big and ready to leave. There you go. Hello, Nadia. You've come to help, haven't you? Look at this black beauty right here. We're gonna wash this off and eat it. As you can see already our bass is getting stuffed. We still have so much, still have so much to put in it. Now we're coming back down over here. Now I'm going over to my yellow squash from this plant right here. As you can see if I move these leaves, Look at this yellow squash. Basket. Now there's one more item to get. Hope it fits low. Alright. I'm heading over to my tomato plant. And right now in my tomato plant you see all of these amazing tomatoes. 
Now these are my sun yellow tomatoes, but for their real name, I'm gonna say the sun yellow cherry tomatoes. And I'm gonna be picking a bunch of them, and I'm gonna put it on top of the basket, because if I picked them first, they would've gotten squished at the bottom. So I don't really need these, to just pick them by hand, really. As you see, my plant is just loaded with them. Be picking these guys all day. I'm so glad that our plant is loaded with all of these cherry tomatoes because these things are delicious. Trust me, they are very delicious. And that's why you see in around my plant has like this little wire mesh thing to keep away any unexpected visitors. And to help the plant grow up straight. This is all I'm going to be picking with these yellow sunlight cherry tomatoes for today. But just for the sake of it, there's Bob, it's cousin over there. Now next, after Bob, let's check out Bob first. You see Bob is just loaded with all of these tomatoes. He's just loaded. And I'm going to share some of these tomatoes with my neighbor. I'm going to share some with my neighbor because he's so much of them. And look at all these just tomatoes just loaded down in there. So much of them. I mean, I, I'm so surprised this plant is just loaded. Now, these tomatoes are just so yummy, so I'm going to go ahead and spare one for myself to eat. Now, I'm going to go check out my po beans. These things are fantastic. As you see, me and my dad have built this little trellis for the beans to like wrap around and go up. And over here, you see all of these amazing beans. I'm gonna be picking them. Look at this one though, this little giant. Oh, up, guys, into the basket you go. These two are just monsters. I'm glad that our system, that the beans wrapped around in our system really worked. Now these beans are very healthy and good. They're not just good for you, they taste good also. This plant is just loaded with all these beans, but I think this is all I'm going to be picking today. Oh, wait, is there a couple more over here to check? Now, there wasn't any beans on that little stuff right there, but in the back, it's still loaded with all these beans. 
Look at this one right here. Hundreds of them. There's a lot of them up there too, but I'm not really tall enough. But look, look at this one. I'm not really tall enough to get it, so I'm gonna be calling Roster Man later to get it for me. Look, look at these two. They just eluded me. All right. Successfully, some more beans. I have some more beans down there to pick. So I'm gonna go ahead and take my basket with me. It's getting, getting heavy. I'm surprised I carried all this. There we are. This treat right here is also loaded with just right here already. Look at this one. Go ahead and bring this closer. Now in here I see all of my beans. This plant is literally just loaded. Beans are everywhere. They're all up here. Let's see if I can reach this one. Yeah, I got it. Again, there's some up there, but I'm not tall enough to get them. But it's loaded right here. This one's just eluded. I think these are going to be enough beans for today for the harvest. But um, right here, I'm going to go ahead and mention my carrots. But I'm not going to be picking them right now. These are going to be inside of a uh, different later harvesting. Now, I'm going to go ahead and go over to that table and show you guys everything that I've harvested side by side. Now, before I do this, just in case you're wondering what that is right there. That was my blue jay that I made out of clay, but the bull left it outside and it rained and it melted. But anyway, now I'm going to be laying out all my eggplants first. This one is just gigantic. I just love it. My beans, second. Once you put them all together on your hand, you see a lot of how much we harvested on these beans. The bull's gone. We never leave a bean behind. Next step, now I'm just going to put all of them back inside of the basket. Again, never leave a bean behind. My squash, my yellow squash bag. And thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't. I hope, hope that you enjoyed this video. Have a great day.